Mr. Speaker, earlier I laid before this Honorable House the West End Development Corporation Annual Report for the year 2019. Mr. Speaker, the year 2019 was another extremely busy and exciting year for the corporation, with the completing of major investment and restoration projects critical to supporting one of the core functions, which is to be Bermuda's premier port destination. These consistent efforts were recognized again when the corporation, for the fourth year in a row, won the Cruise Critics' Choice Destination Award. This award is awarded by consumer voting throughout the region, highlighting the best cruise port destination in the Eastern Caribbean, Bahamas, and Bermuda. Mr. Speaker, the major capital projects included the King's Wharf upgrade, completing the purchase of the two new structures that were erected at the government quarry, which now assists the ministry delivered, delivering a dedicated heavy machine garage building and larger location to house the government stores section. Phase one solar project was delivered and the corporation is now seeing significant energy savings of more than $30,000 per month. Replacement of the Rose Island Village fresh and flushing water system as well as upgrading the sewage infrastructure for the entire village. RECO has and remains committed to annually investing in the refurbishment and upgrade of our residential inventory. Mr. Speaker, highlighted performance accomplishments include included continued increase in revenue, continued retail growth, expansion of new retail and experienced businesses, the launching to market of the new Prince Alfred Terrace short-term rental units, completion of all hurricane damage works, and focusing on working with small contractors so they are able to acquire contracts for many of the restoration and small to medium capital projects. Mr. Speaker, I'll now move on the annual report for the year 2019, which continued in high gear with the continuation of an extensive capital investment program for the items previously mentioned, as well as further enhancing and maintaining critical infrastructure in many historic buildings. Mr. Speaker, the financial report highlights for 2019 show record assets of $141,118,706 and liabilities of $72,425,925 to revenues of $20,609,240 and expenses at $19,127,731. The result was an annual surplus of $1,481,509. Mr. Speaker, the highlighted accomplishments include winning the Cruise Critics' Choice Destination Award, remaining focused on their legislative objective, which is to develop the vested lands, and leading all water crude objectives, as well as several large capital projects and leading the way with a large solar initiative. Mr. Speaker, the last point to note is that I wish to be, it, it to be acknowledged that WECA consistently delivers their specific goals and objectives. I'd like to thank the outgoing chairman, Mr. Charlton Deal, the new chairman, Mr. Neville Tyrrell, the WECA board of directors, general manager, Andrew Diaz, and, and his entire team for their outstanding effort. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.